Hello, this is Breuer and welcome to Civilization VI A to Z, where I will go through each of the civilizations one by one and provide thoughts, strategy, and rankings. Today we will look at Germany, which is a civilization that is focused on using its special Hansa industrial zones to have a strong production engine that it can use to build up a large military and push for any of the victory types. Germany's leader is Frederick Barbarossa. He has two main bonuses. First, you gain an additional military policy slot in all governments. This is a very versatile bonus that can be used for a variety of things. Granted, most of the military policies are military related, but there are several that are a bit more universal, such as getting extra amenities or loyalty with garrisoned units. Next, all units gain plus seven combat strength when attacking city-states. This is a significant amount of extra combat strength that works for all of your units for the entire game. That being said, the fact that this is only when attacking city-states means that it does not directly help you with any victory type, but it does enable you to grow your empire without building settlers. More often than not, conquering a city-state will be the best choice for Germany, since it is relatively painless. However, if the city-state has a great bonus for you, you may want to befriend it instead. The overall scores for this leader are as follows. For domination, I would give it a 10. Being able to slot in a permanent military boost no matter which government that you pick will help you push for a domination victory. Also, though the bonus for attacking city-states doesn't directly help a domination victory, it will help you to make your empire larger, which you can then turn into more production, gold, and other things for your domination push. For science, I would give it a 6. Early in the game, locking in the reduced gold maintenance can help you to purchase more great people. Alternatively, you can put in the plus one amenity for a garrison unit to help you hit a happiness breakpoint for more productivity. Later in the game, you can pick up either the plus one science for military academies and seaports, or the plus 15% production towards space race projects if you have a military academy or seaport. And finally, both culture and religion get threes. Either the reduced gold maintenance or the plus one amenity can help a little bit with both culture or religion victory pushes. Germany's civilization ability is called Free Imperial Cities. Each city can build one more district than the population limit would normally allow. This bonus may not seem like much at first glance, but it is an incredibly strong bonus that can help you to have highly productive cities even if the growth potential is low. You might even consider keeping your cities relatively small on purpose so that you can maximize the happiness bonus everywhere. The overall scores for this bonus, I would give 8s across the board. This bonus is very versatile and will enable even your smallest cities to help progress you towards any of the victory types. Germany's unique unit is called the U-Boat. It replaces the submarine and has a lower production cost. It also gains plus one sight and plus 10 combat strength when fighting on ocean tiles. And finally, it is also able to reveal other submarines. The extra sight and combat strength will help this unit do what it does best, disrupt the other country's naval and trade units. Being able to reveal other submarines will help you to stay out of trouble and ensure that you're always the one that initiates the attacks against your enemies. For overall score for this unit, I would give Domination a 7. This unit has limited usefulness for a true Domination victory, especially since its bonus is limited to Ocean Tiles. However, it is a great unit for causing general havoc and keeping your opponents in check. Germany's unique infrastructure is called the Hansa. It is a district that replaces the Industrial Zone and has a lower production cost. Unlike the Industrial Zone, the Hansa gets adjacency bonus from any and all resources rather than just mines and quarries. This will give you a lot more options for placing of your industrial zone to get maximum adjacency bonus. The Hansa also gets plus two production if placed next to a commercial hub. This is an incredibly strong bonus and will encourage you to have a commercial hub and Hansa in all of your cities, no matter which victory you are going for. A great strategy is to put the commercial hubs from two cities with one tile separating them so that you can put two Hansas between them for maximum adjacency bonus. The overall scores for this district are as follows. For domination, I would give it an eight. The extra production and emphasis on having commercial hubs will enable you to have a strong military. For science, I would give it a 10. Production is just as important as science is for science victory, and your Hansas will really help you in the late game when you need to build some of the expensive space parts. For culture, I would give it a 6. The extra production can help you to build wonders, which can help if you choose to push for a culture victory. And finally, for religion, I would give it a 2. There are a few religious wonders that your extra production can help you to finish, but overall this bonus does not help much with a religion victory. As for overall strategy, if you're playing as Germany, the first thing that you need to do is get comfortable with the fact that you will not have a lot of city-state bonuses as Germany, but this also means that your opponents won't either. Unless you come across Toronto or some other strong city-state that has a bonus that plays into your desired victory type, you'll want to start building up your military as early as possible to start taking out your city-state neighbors. Unless you just have an incredibly prime location nearby, don't waste cycles building any settlers until you've exhausted all of the nearby city-states. If you're planning for a domination victory, keep your now experienced military rolling and start beating up on your neighbors. Even if you aren't planning for a domination victory though, using your strong military to continually harass your neighbors throughout the game will make the late game that much easier for you. 
As for governments, for the four card slot, oligarchy will be your best government type as it will help you to conquer some of the early city states that you find before the other civilizations have a chance to ally with them. For the six card slot, the best government to go for is Merchant Republic so that you can quickly build all the commercial hubs and Hansa combos in all of your cities as well as any of the other districts that you want. Also, because you will have a lot of extra commercial hubs, this government will help you to turn that into a lot of extra gold production as well. And finally, for the eight card slot, any of the governments can work well with Germany. And overall, it really depends on which victory type that you are pursuing. Communism is probably the weakest choice since Germany will tend to be more wide with smaller cities than tall. So many of your cities will likely not have governors for the production boost. Germany will have a lot of districts in all of its cities, so democracy is a very solid choice overall and the one that is most recommended. However, there is nothing wrong with picking up fascism if you're pushing for a late game domination victory. If you're playing against Germany, Frederick's leader agenda is called Iron Crown. He will try to conquer as many city-states as possible and likes those who do not associate with them. He dislikes suzerains of city-states or civilizations that have conquered city-states. If you want to play nice with Germany, simply ignore the city-states altogether and they will like you quite a bit. Overall though, this is not recommended since the city-state boosts are pretty strong and can really help each of the victory types in different ways. More than likely, you will need to figure out what Germany's hidden agenda is and try to please them that way if you want to stay friends. If you're going after Germany, understand that it is unlikely that you'll be able to outproduce them, so your best bet is to ensure that you have higher quality units than he does. Focus on taking even Germany's smallest cities, since those are likely providing them a decent amount of productivity overall. Also, if you're fighting Germany during the time of their U-boats, make sure that you have plenty of destroyers to spot them and take them down. As for victory condition, Germany's best victory condition is either domination or science victory. Germany will have some of the highest productivity in the game, as well as a strong economy due to the bonus they get from having commercial hubs next to all of their Hanses. Both of these combined can play into either a strong military for domination, or a lot of cities able to pump out space parts quickly for science. No matter which victory type that you go for, make sure that you make full use of your U-boat units to harass your enemies and slow them down. Where do they rank overall? For domination, I would give them a 9. Germany's strong productivity and ability to grow its empire through its military by taking out nearby city-states will set it up to be a domination powerhouse. The extra military policy slot that it gains is also a very significant boost that lasts the entire game. For science, I would give them a 9. Science victories are as much about high production as they are about high science rates, and Germany will definitely have no problem having highly productive cities. For culture, I would give them a 6. Though Germany doesn't get any direct boost to culture, its ability to use its productivity to build wonders combined with the flexibility to have theater districts in most, if not all of its cities, no matter how small they are, can help it to pursue a culture victory. And finally, religion gets a 4. Germany's ability to push for a religion victory hinges mostly on the fact that it can build holy sites in all of its cities without slowing down the rest of its overall growth and production. Overall though, a religion victory is definitely Germany's weakest option and not recommended. What are your thoughts? Did I get it right? Did I miss something? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And also please give me a thumbs up if you do like this video and want to see more of these. I do plan to keep these going. So I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.